But the fruit of the spirit is Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control But the fruit of the spirit is Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control But the fruit of the spirit is Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control But the fruit of the spirit is Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control Galatians 5, 22 and 23 This fruit where I heard is not from a tree, it's not from a loom, it's inside me Got filled with the spirit and it made me new Wanna see that fruit coming out of you That said, when you trust you a new creation Time to accept that, that This fruit right her is not from a tree It's not from a loom, it's inside me This fruit right her is not from a tree to our fifth day of prayer five days we've only got four more left now i know a lot of you love that song so if you want to make a video of you signing that song and sending it to me then we'll see if we can put together a compilation of everybody doing it which would be really good fun it's called uh, fruits of the spirit and it's by jumpstart three so today's fruit that we're praying for do you all know kindness Kindness there. So make sure you put it on your tree, coloured it in, and who have you put in your upper room? So today I'm praying for uh, Cynthia because she's not well, so I'm praying she'd experience God's kindness in her sickness. And who are you praying for, Sean? Ah, you're praying for Lucy, the lovely Lucy. And you're praying for. Lois. Lois. Lots of L's We've today. had our own little lesson of kindness today and its importance because when we were on a walk earlier, poor Sean, you noticed, he's had a bit of an accident. He just fell over. But Boris was kind because Boris carried him home. A bit like the Good Shepherd in that story. He carried him on his shoulder and then I washed his wounds and put a plaster on with my massive big first aid kit and that was a bit like the good samaritan both two stories of being kind that jesus told us so should we listen to another story in our gift of the word of god our scripture which today is matthew 8 verse 2 to 3 so should we open it up look for the light as the light guides our way through the word of God. So this is Matthew 8, verse 2 to 3. One time, Jesus was in a town where a very sick man lived. The man was covered with a harmful, painful skin disease. When he saw Jesus, he begged him, Lord, if you want to, I know you can heal me. And Jesus said, of course I want to be healed. And Jesus touched the man and immediately his disease disappeared. Jesus said, of course I want to heal you, be healed. And Jesus touched him and immediately his skin disease disappeared. So I've put it on our board. Got any ideas yet? Maybe we need to rearrange them. What do you think? Send me your ideas. So kindness. Kindness is noticing somebody's need and helping them. 
recognising that you have something that is good news to give to another. Letting your heart be moved and wanting what's best for that person. That's what I think kindness is. What do you think it is? Who is the kindest person that you know? And why do you think they're kind? When I think about kindness, I was thinking about a flower. Is that a bit funny? The reason I thought about a flower is, do you know that a flower, when the sun shines on it, a flower opens up wide? Look in the evening at the daisies and you'll notice they close up when the sun goes down. But when the sun goes up, they open up again. And apparently, though I've never seen this myself, a sunflower will follow the sun as it goes round the sky. So the sun might rise in the east and the sunflower will be facing it. And then it moves round till it sets in the west because the light makes them feel alive. I think that's a bit like kindness. Kindness helps us to feel alive. And it's important to remember that Jesus is kind. Jesus is caring. Of course I want to help you, he said to that man. Of course I want to heal you, be healed. So we're gonna think about Jesus' kindness today and we're going to pray come Holy Spirit and help us to realise, to know the kindness of God. And so we're going to hold in our hand again something we want to pray about. It could be something you find difficult. It could be somebody you care about. It could be something that you really want to happen. Or something that you're sorry about happening and you want to feel better about it. Whatever it is going to be your prayer, just put it on your hand. And then we're going to lift it up to God. And then we're going to say, come Holy Spirit and fill us with your kindness. And we're going to be like the flowers. We're going to let our faces open and look up to God. So we take our prayer in our hands, we lift it up to God, we pray, come Holy Spirit and fill us with your kindness. And we're going to be like the flowers, opening our hands wide, knowing, believing, trusting that of course he wants to hear our prayer. Of course he wants to help us. And we'll say again, come Holy Spirit and fill us with your kindness. Amen. So let's pray for the people in our upper room. Pray for Lucy. Say, come Holy Spirit and fill Lucy with your kindness today. Amen. I'm going to pray for Lois. Come Holy Spirit and fill Lois with your kindness today. Amen. Pray for Cynthia. Come Holy Spirit and fill Cynthia with your kindness today. Amen. Pray for everyone watching the video and everyone in our upper rooms. Come Holy Spirit and fill us with your kindness today. Amen. We make this prayer in the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're going to finish with a song, and it's a song that I never forget the first time I heard it. I just thought it was so beautiful, and it's always stayed with me as one of the most beautiful songs about God and his loving kindness. And it just says, you're loving kindness simply amazes me it says when i look at heavens and the work of your hands all this you've created god why do you still think about me why do you still think about mankind and when i look at jesus 
and the marks on his hands. Why do you still love? Because God is love and his kindness is without end. Sim.